We've talked about lots of different market structures. How does a market end up at one structure or another? Often it comes down to barriers to entry, or how easy is it for a new competitor to enter a market? In perfect competition, we assume that it's easy for new firms to enter the market. In natural monopoly, the reason the monopoly exists is because fixed costs are so high that no new firms can enter and make a profit. Where does oligopoly fit into this analysis? As we've seen so far, and will continue to learn, the oligopoly structure lies somewhere in between the two extremes we've learned about so far. The same is true when it comes to barriers to entry. In an oligopoly, it's usually difficult to enter the market, though not so difficult that only one firm can make a profit. One real-world example of an important oligopoly is the car industry. There are a handful of different firms, such as GM, Toyota, and Honda. It's clearly not a monopoly, but it's also not easy for a new competitor to pop up. Have you heard of the DeLorean Motor Company? Probably not. The company only lasted from 1981 to 1983. It was founded by John DeLorean. He spent most of his career working at General Motors, but by 1972 he was getting sick of the company. He thought the company had gotten bland. He believed a car should make people's eyes light up when they step in the showroom. So what did he do? He started his own company and designed an iconic vehicle. The car had doors that opened like the wings of a bird. Its body was built with stainless steel. It had a powerful engine. The car was incredibly influential in pop culture. You might recognize it from the famous 80s movie Back to the Future, in which a character used a time machine in the shape of a DeLorean car. But the company failed. There were engineering delays in designing the assembly line. Setting up the assembly line cost more than anticipated, and many workers at the DeLorean plant were inexperienced. Because of this, the cars that were first produced had quality issues and high prices. As a result, few cars were sold. DeLorean estimated that it needed to sell between 10,000 and 12,000 units to break even. But at the high sale price, sales were only around 6,000 units. Within two years, the company went bankrupt. For a solid two decades after DeLorean, no one tried to break into the oligopoly market for cars. The fixed costs were just too high. That all changed with the founding of Tesla Motors. We learned that Tesla's doing incredibly well so far. People love the product and waiting lists are long. But they're also facing some struggles in ramping up their production. It's not as bad as for the DeLorean. Tesla already has 400,000 orders for their later model, which is a lot better than DeLorean ever had. And though Tesla is struggling to ramp up production, it has so far avoided some of the quality concerns that DeLorean had. But it's still too early to know if Tesla can break into the car market oligopoly. To find out if Tesla will succeed, we'd have to time travel. <laughs>